Hey folks, welcome back. John Ferguson Smart here. Today I want to show you a simple trick that will enable you to get the most out of your Serenity BDD tests when you run them against BrowserStack. BrowserStack is a fantastic tool. It's a very easy to use platform that allows you to scale your tests and run them across a broad range of platforms, devices, environments, operating systems without having to maintain your own Selenium grid, which to be honest, can be a bit of a pain to maintain. Uh, with BrowserStack, you don't need to do any of that. It takes care of it very, very seamlessly. And with Serenity, Serenity integrates very seamlessly with BrowserStack as well. Now, if you want to follow along at home, head on over to browserstack.com and set yourself up a free trial. It's really easy to do. It only takes a minute. And once you've set up that free trial, what you'll need to do is go into your account, grab your username and access key. And then generally speaking, I store them in environment variables, an environment variable called uh, browser stack username and browser stack access key, which we refer to inside our Serenity configuration file. We can see here we have a remote URL uh, defined to defined as browser stack username, browser stack access key. That is how we basically connect to browser stack. And when we do that, when we run our tests in uh, when we run our tests normally, then we'll get these tests being executed on browser stack, which is what you can see here. Now, this is great, but with Serenity, you can do a lot more than that and very, very easily. See, there's a very cool trick. All you need to do is head on over to your POM file and add this net Serenity BDD Serenity browser stack plugin. Now, I haven't re-imported this pro project, so I'm going to do that now. And if you ran it from Maven, it would do that automatically. Uh, but if I, I'm going to just force it to upload the, uh, the browser stack dependency. So now, as soon as you run your Serenity tests with browser stack, it will automatically take that into account. And what the browser stack plugin does very seamlessly is it allows you to integrate not only the uh, not only with this browser stack environment as because that's what the URL does, but it actually updates the browser stack tests with the name of the test, the result. Uh, it organizes them in uh, in batches, in test batches, and so you get a much nicer experience. So we're just going to run this test now. We can see it's kicking off, and when it kicks off, when it starts to run. Here we can see we're running, we're, we're starting one of them. If I head on over to browser stack, so now we're running some of these tests. And as soon as they kick off, let's head on over to browser stack and see what's happening. Now in the previous iteration, when we ran these tests without the plugin, what happened is we had the name of the browser the name of the operating system, and that's about it. But now that we've activated the Serenity Browser Stack plugin, what you can see is we have the name of the project and a timestamp, which will group all of these tests together. See, all of these ones, they're in the same bill, but you can't really tell. But when we use the plugin, they all get grouped together. And so we can see here, the, the test churning away with the name of the story, the name of the actual scenario, and then the result as we uh, as it gets finished. So every time we finish a test, we can see the status gets updated. We can see the name of the scenario that's churning along. This becomes even more powerful when we run the test in parallel, which we'll be doing in a future video. But just the way it's churning through these and updating, you can see that the documentation is a lot smoother. So that's simply because we added in the Serenity, uh, the Serenity Browser Stack plugin, which we did down here, Serenity Browser Stack. That is literally all you need to do, and then you get all of this nice integration. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. 
in the next video we'll be having a look at some of the other awesome features you can use to fine-tune your configuration with browser stack so make sure you stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already if you find this useful and i will see you in the next video